You know New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, but you don't know his wife, Mary Pat. But you will now. The governor's wife, the First Lady of New Jersey, tell me what it's really like to be running for President of the United States. Okay, Mary Pat, you've joined the campaign trail another time. Um, what's it like to be back in New Hampshire? It's, it's been great, really great. You know, I'm here often, uh, often with my husband, and love meeting the people in New Hampshire and hearing what's on their mind. You know, I always wonder um, on these campaigns, so, um, it's, they're tough on children. What happens when someone says something really mean and nasty about your husband? What do you say to your kids? Oh, well, we've been at this for a while, so um, my children are very, very trained in trying to ignore some of the superfluous things that are being said, so it's, it really doesn't bother us. Well, you know, it happens to every single candidate, every single candidate's family, and I always feel bad for it because it's actually easier to take the hits yourself, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's much easier than to have to, to, to console a, a spouse or a child. Much more concerned about my kids, um, you know, than I am about me. Like, I chose this, right? So whenever any of this stuff happens, I always think to myself, well, you know, this is the life I've chosen, but I've kind of foisted it upon them. So I try to make sure that, you know, we talk to them on a regular basis about what it is that's you know, been being said so they understand the truth. Um, and I think everything we've gone through during the time I've been governor, uh, they get that, and I think they deal with it pretty well. That's right. You sort of like you've, you've been first lady of the state. Um, do you like that? Sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, been, what, what's, what's the job? Well, it's been an incredible honor, really, to be First Lady of New Jersey. I've been able to kind of highlight some of the folks in our state that are doing really great things. So as First Lady, um, I know that you did something with, uh, you've been doing stuff with disabled children because I actually went to a benefit at the governor's house. Yes, I remember that. Early in our tenure, that was something I did for Down syndrome. Um, I've also worked strongly for autism and uh, all sorts of people in our state do amazing things. And what I do is I go to their organizations, I highlight them, and by raising their profile, it helps the organization grow. What was your first job ever, paid job? The first paid job ever was working at a gas station. How much? Um, oh, it was minimum wage. I got paid whatever it was at the time, um, and I was pumping gas. It was two block walk from my house, and that was my first job working at the what was then an Amico station um, in uh, in Livingston. And your first job was what? At what age? Well, I was uh, a Baskin Robbins ice cream scooper. Oh, how much did you make? Uh, you remember? As I was like, I really don't. I think it was like three dollars and twenty cents or something. But I was, you know, in high school, and my father only allowed us to work if we could keep our grades up. Otherwise, we had to, you know, our first job was studies. So you wanted to work? I did want to work, yeah. And, and then your second job was what? Uh, I was a waitress um, all through college. And then um, finally, when I graduated from college, I went to school at night to graduate school and, and worked as a sales assistant on the trading desk. It's fun to hear these stories, isn't yeah. it? I mean, so you learn so much about people. It's like, you know, how people met. I love to uh, meet them. Yeah, it, well, you know, it, she's always <laughs> been a really hard worker. I mean, one of the things that I knew about Mary Pat from the beginning was that, um, and, and she's still that way today, I mean, the kids tease her all the time that she just can never sit down. You know, that when we're at home on the weekends, if everybody else is relaxing and reading or watching television, or whatever, Mary Pat's got to be doing something. She decides she wants to bake something. She decides she has to clean something up. She decides there's a project out in the backyard she needs to do. But, uh, and that I could tell from when we were in college. She's a really hard worker, and so she shames us all the time. Okay, so who's the disciplinarian? Who are the kids say? If I had the kids here, and I said, which one's the disciplinarian? Well, we're both, but they would say Chris more than me. Really? For You're sure. the tough guy? Well, I'm the, I'm the final word. Let's put it that way. Like, Mary Pat does plenty of it, but there are times when I just think um, a deeper voice um, just kind of gets their attention a little bit more. And so they might be ignoring their mother a little bit. And then I'm kind of the, she's judge and jury, I'm executioner. That's the way it would kind of He work. doesn't sway. They can't talk you out of yeah, things. Yeah, they don't talk me out of things. They will at times just badger her into giving in. And they know that if they badger me, I won't give in. In fact, it makes me go the opposite way. So if one of the children has a, a grade on a paper or something or an exam um, and it's not particularly good, who would the stu who would the child rather approach first? Definitely me. <laughs> really? <laughs> Definitely you're, the, me. you're the easier one? <laughs> She's easier, Mark. Really? Yeah, yeah. no, they, they, <laughs> yeah, they do not want to come to me. In fact, they will go to her and try to negotiate a deal that I not be told. Which will never it. happen. <laughs> I, they will even negotiate me telling Chris uh, the bad news, but I usually try to make them tell them. That's wild. Anyway, yeah. um, thank you both yeah. very much, and I'm Absolutely. sure we'll see you back here in New Hampshire or Iowa or South Carolina or maybe even New Jersey. You got anyway, it. Very nice to, you. Thanks, nice, to you. nice to see you. Thanks, Nice to see you.